how to pay less transaction fees using Ledger Nano S. Hey guys, this is OJ here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pay less fees, how to change the fee that you're paying for each transaction when you're using your Ledger Nano S. Okay, so I'm opening my wallet and I'm going straight to the option send. So now what I'm going to do is here I will enter the wallet address okay and here I will select the amount that I'm sending in this case it will be something very tiny because I'm only doing this for the purpose of this tutorial so I will send something like four dollars and um, here I can see what is my fee so for this transaction by default it goes to transaction fee high which is fast confirmation and I'll be paying 14 cents now for four dollars this is a high fee because if I'm sending something like fifty dollars or maybe five hundred dollars let's say I'm sending something like um, five hundred dollars which is this it's this is less but you know you get the point um, in this case my fee being 14 cents it's okay it's not too much but for four dollars transaction i wouldn't want to be send, spending that much for a fee so what i will do here is i can go to standard low or i can even customize it so if i go to standard then i will be paying seven cents which is already quite low if i go to low in this instance i'm paying the same so if i really want to pay less and i don't care about waiting for maybe more than a day uh, then I can go here and choose Satoshi per, per byte and choose how many Satoshis per byte I want to spend. And if I choose five Satoshi, then my fee is seven cents, which means that this was the low fee. Let's see, say that I choose three Satoshi. In that case, I'm paying four cents, which would be something like um, 1% from the amount that I'm spending, which is fine. So for me, that would be a you know decent fee to pay three satoshis per byte if i'm not sure how much i want to spend per byte i can go here this is a website where i can see what are the transactions the the queue especially how many transactions are in queue for the the fee that i've selected three satoshis per byte has um, less of a queue than five or six satoshis per byte so in this case i'm okay with paying three satoshis or four let's say I, I pay four which means five cents for this transaction I'm okay with that so let's proceed and send this one so this is basically how I can select I can do the custom fee or if you really don't want to be customizing it yourself just go with the low which is slow confirmation also there is a Twitter account here which is Bitcoin Core fee. Bitcoin Core is basically the software that the current version of Bitcoin is running. This is why this is called Bitcoin Core fee in order to differentiate it from uh, Bitcoin Cash or the other Bitcoin forks. So currently we can see that if you want, if I want my transaction to be approved in the next block, I have to pay 10 satoshis per byte. If I want to wait for an hour, maybe slightly more, then I can pay around four or nine satoshis per byte. And if I pay less than that, then I can wait up to a day. So this is basically how it works. Let's proceed with this transaction. I'm okay with that. I want to wait in this instance. I just want to show you how to minimize your fee. You should only be doing that when you're not in a hurry for the transaction. If you know that you can wait a day or more and you're not going to freak out, it's not going to scare you and uh, make you uneasy, then you can go with that. So let's go and confirm this transaction. I need to confirm it here on the device. And that's been successfully sent. Okay, so, so now I can see the transaction here. I have paid 0 0.05 in terms of uh, euro cents for my fee. And um, now I will be waiting for a few confirmations before I can receive it in the wallet where I sent it. I sent it to my Jack's wallet, but as we can see, it is not yet received and it's not going to show up here 
until I get at least two or three confirmations on that transaction. And it's really for these confirmations that I'm paying the fee. The fee is being picked up by the miners who are confirming these transactions and I need my transaction to be confirmed at least twice in or even three times for most wallets to uh, consider it complete and to credit me with that transaction. So currently I'm on zero here. So now I'm going to stop the video and I will come back to it when the transaction appears just to show you that it actually went through and to find out how long I'm going to wait for this transaction to appear. Okay, well, it's uh, five minutes later, in fact, four minutes, and I've already have the first confirmation. So now the transaction is already showing up in my Jax wallet. Of course, I will have to wait a little longer before I can spend that money. Uh, but it's arri arrived at uh, eight, nine minutes past eight, and I sent it at five minutes past eight. So it actually just took four minutes. And this is what I'm saying that uh, right now you really don't have to be uh, paying very high fees for Bitcoin transactions. They can be really low and they get confirmed mainly because there isn't a big backlog in the pending transactions, the, the ones that are in the mempool waiting for confirmations. So um, this is how fast it was. Let's go back to my Jax wallet and we can see one confirmation and and that's it. And it's a 0 0.005, which is exactly what I wanted to send. Okay, so this is everything. It's super easy. As I said, you just need to find out what is a decent fee for the time being when you're sending the transaction, because if there's a lot of uh, transactions pending, then you might want to be going for the higher Satoshis per byte. You don't really want to be waiting for two or three days. Sometimes transactions are waiting for a very long time. So this was my ledger tutorial. I've done a few others, so check out the other links to the other videos. If you are using other Bitcoin wallets, you might find that they also have the option to change your fees, but not all of them have that option. So make sure that you're using a wallet that has that option in the first place.